What is up, ladies and gentlemen as well? Uh, <laughs> welcome to episode 35 of the Survival Let's Play. Today we got a whole bunch of stuff on the chopping block. If you're new to this series, this is the first video you're watching, welcome. If you're not, welcome also. <laughs> I think today, I think today we're gonna have Copper join us. Usually I don't bring the pets around the house, uh, or I guess this is more of a base than a house, but Copper is gonna join us. This is his first time he's starring in an episode. Hopefully he can make me proud, keep the creepers away. Uh, today I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. Why don't we, uh, check out the to-do list? So, uh, there are a few things I want to do. I want to make a modification to the bedroom. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, though, uh, but it involves water. <laughs> I also want I want to fix the jukebox area and move the discs into my bedroom. I want to make an industrial smelter today, and I also want to get some mob heads uh, to decorate with. You know, add some flavor to the rooms. So today has the potential to be a pretty cool episode. We're going to be doing a little building, a little combat. So uh, yeah, uh, two building episodes in a row. It's, uh, it's kind of rare for me these days, but we're doing it. And the first thing I, I think I gotta do is, you guys are so brilliant, you're so brilliant. So I have this jukebox, and if you missed it, basically the whole thing that I wanted to do was have this lever, so the- Oh, you really like that chest, don't you? And these guys keep mimicking sounds, they're mimicking each other, I think. It, it's getting kind of scary. My This is not a pleasant place to sleep. Hearing skeletons and creepers and zombies all the time. All right, so th basically the, the jukebox here, and now you're in the way of the lever, aren't you, Copper? Come on now, please. I this was supposed to be your episode, and you're already messing it up. Get out here. Thank you. <laughs> so so over here, the jukebox. I wanted to have this chest that goes up and down, but the issue was it it, it closed that. But you guys suggested a little fix, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. I, I think all I would need to do to fix this is just do that, and then it's gonna stay powered. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long it would have taken me to figure that out, but that is a very simple way to fix that. There you go. That's uh, that fix, and I guess. I guess while I'm at it, I can bring the jukeboxes in. I realize I just <laughs> I just said jukeboxes. I meant music discs. So I have a few here, and this is also going to be nice because it opens up another chest. I can use this for something else. Do I grab that one? Yeah, I guess I grabbed that one too. So let's go ahead uh, and put them into the chest. So now we got a big selection of records in here. <laughs> we got a ton. One of them is named though, um, which might be a little weird. Or is it not? Are these all not named? Where, where's the one I used in the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a goal complete. Probably the easiest goal I will ever complete on the series. Pat my back. There we are. <laughs> um, the, the, let's, get, let's, get, let's get down to business though uh, with, with some serious stuff. I think I might want to go up stairs and work on the furnace room. Oh, and Copper, you can tag along as well. I'll give you a second chance. Don't mess it up. <laughs> the parrots, you guys can just chill out here. Uh, did that work? No, there you go. Sit, please. Thank you. Let's head on up. So the area that I uh, am going to be using for this furnace room is a little... Oh, this is not the right way. Hold on. Yeah, over here. It, it, it's a little uh, unfinished right now, but believe it or not, this area is going to it's it's going to be nice. It's going to turn into a fantastic furnace area, one of the best furnace areas of all time. Uh, hopefully, anyways. Uh, I want to start off by getting rid of some of this, clearing out the area. I'll be back once once this looks a little bit nicer so we can uh, actually sort out what we're doing. Okay, so here's where things get interesting. I've set up uh, what I what I want to have as, as the room, really. It, it's just something that you walk by, but you could also use. It's not like a room, it's just a little station. I guess is the better way to call it. So, the industrial auto smelter. Uh, let's get it started. Uh, so, I, I kind of know what I want to do here. I hope it's going to work. I, I'm pretty sure it will. Um, so, six smelters. It's going to have some power. Believe me. <laughs> so, we got those uh, We got those down, uh, the furnaces. And those are going to cook up everything, right? So, they got to connect to the output chest. So, what I want to do really quick is set up... Uh, uh, just some hoppers underneath those furnaces that'll bring all of the supplies into that front chest and then we can uh, just save it in there and then move it whenever we need to. So uh, anything that's cooked in those is going to get sent into the chest. That is how I like it. Um, and then on the back, right over here, uh, behind them, we also need to connect hoppers uh, to the back because these hoppers are going to put fuel 
into the furnaces. And if you're asking, how does that happen? <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna use rails. We're gonna use rails. This is a trick, an old trick, trick of the trade. Well, uh, I don't know what I'm going for here, but let's, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, the rail uh, is gonna use a hopper in a mine cart. Oh, I already have it. Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool design. So we'll start off here, um, and we're gonna put down uh, this this little powered rail here. You'll see why that's important in a second. Uh, but after that, all we gotta do is string our redstone, not redstone, our, our rails, string our rails, all the way to the end, just like that. So um, just, I guess, have one powered rail going down over there, then sweep it across uh, your hoppers and bring it up to something uh, that looks like this. Then we wanna go ahead and power those two rails. They need to stay on the whole time. Um, these ones stay on for eternity. So let's just go ahead and slap a torch. Oh, did that? Okay, there it is. <laughs> it will slap it down, and yes, okay, those are powered. That's all good. And now we can throw one of these levers right there. So if I were to put the minecart down onto this track, I'll show you exactly what this little contraption does. So uh, the cart's going to get stuck there when that's not powered, which is a key. It's a huge key. If we uh, go ahead, it flips us the witch. I said that weird, <laughs> the cart is going to go across all the hoppers and then go back and forth. And it's going to keep going back. Oh. Oh, it won't keep going back and forth. Hold on. <laughs> this this needs to be blocked. That that was that mistake. So once that's blocked, it should work properly. Um, we can we can try it out here and test it and see. Um, okay, well there it goes. It started and it should go over. Jump up there, go back, and then go and then keep going. Yeah. And then if I were to stop this, it'll finish the route and then uh, park itself back over there. And uh, yeah. That, that's perfect. And if you guys don't know what it's doing, so once the once the cart goes over all the hoppers, the stuff that's in the cart, which will be the fuel, goes into the hoppers, and then it goes into the uh, into the furnaces. So that is how that's gonna work. Um, that is now done. I think the next part is to grab a few more. Oh, do I not have? I don't have more hoppers, hold on. All we gotta do is put hoppers on top of these. Each and every one, just make them face straight down, and that is how we're gonna get stuff into the furnaces. So, um, these hoppers will take the stuff out of the furnaces, uh, the ones in the back will put the fuel in, and this is what we're putting this smelting stuff in, like iron, whatever else, food, whatever I wanna cook. So all we need to do now is throw some chests on top of the hoppers, just like that, and uh, essentially the whole thing's done. <laughs> <laughs> it basically works. All we need to do is throw fuel in uh, and throw something to cook. So, for example, I could uh, throw this cobblestone in. And uh, do I have any extra wood? Yes, I do. We can give it a go here. This won't work, though, I don't think. And Yeah, okay, I need to... Oh, where where did that go? Oh, it went... Where Where is... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Let's just say it went into this one. If I were to put some fuel in there and then flip the switch, uh, it should get sent down. Yeah, as you can see, right into there. The tree went in, and now it's cooking the cobble, so it works. Um, it'll spread out the coal evenly, too, which is really nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting this all up and running, but it's ugly right now. We gotta fix that. We gotta make it look better. Um, and the way I'm gonna do that is with some oak wood. So let's just bring this like a so, like there. Um, and then I also wanna bring, uh, bring this out maybe, and then this out too. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was extra. Maybe bring the wood across so that you can't see the hoppers. I like that, I like that. This is, this is starting to look interesting. Okay, okay, I'm digging that, and now I have, I should have, a whole, yeah, I have a whole bunch of trap doors, and these can be used to cover up the hoppers right there. Um, that works, and now if I want to make sure you can't see all that extra stuff in the back, I can throw these up here too, so just put them... Uh, put them right above the chest, and they should see yep, they still open perfect So now you shouldn't be able to see anything there. We are okay. This is looking pretty good This is looking pretty good. You can kind of sneak a peek back through there, so we could fix that Yeah, I, I think I can all I got to do is uh, just replace some of this so uh, Let's get rid of the uh, stone there Get this wood, I guess, at least so it matches the color, and then I guess we could just do this too, why not? And that should be invisible. 
Oh yeah, okay, that worked a little bit. That looks nice. So uh, there we go, a nice looking, uh, nice looking thing here. So all you gotta do is throw the stuff up in there, and it should get cooked. It is kind of hard to reach though. It's kind of hard to reach. I think. Oh. Okay, I, I have an idea. This could be kind of silly, but hold on. All right, stick with me here. This is going to be interesting. If this works, I'm going to be very proud of myself. So uh, I'm going to try to set up a little system that uh, it's basically like an elevator. So uh, let's just say these four blocks right here. Uh, this is where I would stand. I, I hit a lever, uh, which is attached to nothing right now. Just imagine uh, that lever will push these blocks up while I'm standing on it so I can reach those better if that makes sense. So the way I would do that is I would need to get some uh, some sticky pistons and those would go at that level um, and then I would put the blocks on top of those and then all I gotta do now is string redstone to them. So we should be good to go right through here and then there we go, that's it. I can easily string it to all of them. This is perfect. This is, this is easy, much easier than I thought it would be. So, oh, oh no, that shouldn't mess it up. I don't think that'll mess it up, right? It won't. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. So we just got to bring this around, and there we go. Now, if I flip this, okay, that was that was almost there. Uh, I think I need to put a repeater down, and there we are. That should extend the signal. Now, if I were to cover all of this up, uh, this this won't be stone. I'll, I'll change it later. But let's just go ahead, make sure this all works. It should just raise a nice little platform. Yeah, there we go. And so all I got to do to to fuel it is stand up here and it can easily reach the chest. There we go. Hey, a redstone genius. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> no, not that cool. But but it's nice. It's nice. That works. Um so so it's a finished product. The only thing that is not done is there's no way to get fuel to this unless I come around here and fill it up myself. So maybe, maybe I could have something, um, okay, wait, where, where is that? So this is at this level, um, huh, okay, let me break through right there, let me just see, where is that? So maybe I could have something over, uh, huh. I could put a chest up there and, the, and then put lead hoppers into the minecart, but I think I'd rather just have a fuel room. So if we put a door here, um, I could come over, ooh. Gotta be a little careful with that. <laughs> I could come over here and then and then have a proper fueling room. So uh, it won't be decorated right now. You can just imagine uh, this is where I could come. And then I could also uh, leave a little space here just, you know, to have a little back area in case I want to change the track or do anything like that. So this will all be a nice little room and I could add the fuel here. Uh, that is, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I, I, I'm fine with that. So we can clog this off like a so. And now... Uh, I, I think it's actually done. It's actually done. I just got to decorate it. So let me go ahead, grab some wood here like that, make a crafting table like so, and now I can make myself uh, a door and we can call it a day. Uh, but I do want to decorate it a little bit more. So um, yeah, I think I'll go do that. I'll be right back and we'll see what we can turn this room into. It is time for the testing. Let's just grab a whole bunch of coal and uh, anything I can smell. I might have some extra food up in here. Raw salmon. We could do that. And then also raw fish. And then also raw beef. That's only three. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> so we'll cook up some of this uh, of this stuff and we'll, and we'll give it a go. I've decorated it a little bit since you guys have last seen it. And let me tell you what, the room's looking nice. Also, by the way, I haven't shown this area on camera in a while, but yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, just in case you guys uh, want to see that again. I haven't shown that in a while. But if we come over here, you can tell it's looking a little bit better now, isn't it, huh? It's starting to match. I, I still want to make this look a little bit rougher over there. Maybe add some slabs, possibly. Half slabs there would be cool. But y you get the picture. So this is the room. I've outlined the little floor. So you just step in the box and you can go ahead and fuel it up. Why don't we throw in uh, some salmon there? Uh, and then maybe some salmon here. Now, I, I gotta check, does that spread it? It does spread it evenly. Okay, that's exciting. I wasn't sure if it was gonna do that or not. I wanna take the cobblestone out and wow, wow. 
it actually spreads it evenly. That is exciting. And then I guess I can throw cobblestone in the middle. We can check. Yeah, that's awesome. That, I really like how it does that. It's going to make it go faster than I anticipated. Uh, so we go back into the fuel room, if you can't tell. Fuel room. <laughs> and, there, and then you run in here, and we can just throw everything that we're going to cook with uh, into, the, uh, into the hopper. So we could use 64 uh, coal in each of these, or we could put coal blocks. So we could really fill that thing up. Uh, and then... I guess I can just go ahead, uh, tick this on, and it should start, yeah, in order just like that. That is pretty awesome. A and now, all we gotta do is wait, and we're gonna have a whole bunch of food. And it won't even go to the furnaces, it should get sucked right down into here. Perfect. Uh, I got a little extra, <laughs> I got a little extra stuff back here, but you guys get the picture. We're getting some cooked stuff. That is exciting. So, so now when I come back from a huge mining trip, I can just throw all my stuff in these furnaces, flip the switch, and, and we're good. And we're good. Um, this is this is awesome. This is fantastic. So now we got uh, we got this room in here, uh, and I gotta get rid of some of these torches. I got I gotta clean this up and get hidden lighting up in here. I'll do that off camera. Um, but we got this now, which is a pretty cool little area. And then if we come up here, we've got to figure out what we want to do over here. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas uh, on on a new kind of room to put back in there, uh, whether it's a smelter or not, well, it shouldn't be a smelter. I I just made one of those. Maybe that could be the cat's room. Maybe I could have a little cat. A little cat bedroom over there. I don't know. You guys can uh, suggest ideas, and I'll look through and, and see what see what I like. But mission complete, ladies and gents. The auto smelter is complete, and it's it's pretty nice. <laughs> so that's that. Um, the next thing. Oh, hey, hey, dude. What's up with you? What's up with uh? What's up with that? How did you get down here? Maybe he fell. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I also want to apologize. I completely forgot to put the poll on the last video, but it seems like most of you guys from reading comments want me to leave the cyan beam. So I think I'm just going to leave it as cyan and call it a day. I, I do I do like it a little bit better than having the green in here. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now I want to do something with the room. You guys were giving me a few suggestions in, on this room. Most of you liked it, um, by the way, which I appreciate the love and support. Um, but some of you were saying this would be a really cool spot to have an aquarium. So... I think I might want to do that. Now, uh, you guys have seen you guys have seen me make an aquarium before. Uh, I've spent a whole bunch of episodes uh, in this area, so I think I'm just gonna make it look like this. So what I'm gonna do is, is just do it really quick, and uh, I'll show you guys how it turns out. Yeah, this was a good idea. This was a really good idea. Look at that! Oh, that's so sweet. That is awesome. That is awesome. I, I almost, I almost want to take out more of this wall so that you could have even more of it. To be honest with you, <laughs> like maybe, maybe I, maybe I am gonna do that. I might. I might. I'll think about it. But but there we are. That is, uh, that's the aquarium. It, it's basically the same as what I did in there. I just used prismarine as the backdrop, uh, sand, and then put a little bit of coral. Uh, I also have some bubble columns in there just to add some liveliness. Uh, and then the last thing, the last thing that I need to do, as you guys can tell, I need to populate it. And I think it just makes sense to, uh, oh, wait a second. I need to get some sea pickles. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, hold on, hold on. And these are gonna make it even better. These are gonna make it even better. I'm excited. All right, let's get in here like that. All right, um, yeah, we can put three there, maybe. Have, uh, four there. Four will do there. Three, and then maybe three, and, uh, and then maybe one. I don't want it to be too crazy. Don't want to go too overboard with the pickles, uh, but we'll leave it like that. Let me put one right there. Um, now all we gotta do is uh, uh, block that and, and throw some uh, throw some fish in. So let's uh, let's do it. There we are. One. Oh, whoops! I just caught the water. All right. Don't think that did anything. Two in. Three, four, and do we have another five? Or was that six? I'm not sure. All right, let's see. Let's see. Can you see him from in the room? Yeah, you can. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I wish it was. I wish it was. Oh. Oh, 
I have another idea. Let me grab some ladders. Be right back. <laughs> what are you doing over here? I thought you were supposed to be hanging with me. Um, do I have ladders? Please. Yes, I do. I got plenty. All right. Let's just grab three or no, two. I think I, well, I'll just bring three just in case. And I, I think I could have a little viewing area. Uh, this might not work as well as I'm imagining, but if I were to do something like this, I could just come up here and take a quick little peek at the aquarium not bad not bad at all and I could honestly add um oh wait a second okay this might be going overboard but hold on we'll have to see we'll have to see you guys got to be honest with me let me know if this is let me know if this is too much but what if I did something like this yeah so it looks like a little loft in the room, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -mm. We'll see. We'll see. H how cool is it? How cool is it to be up here? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to get a to get a good view of the aquarium, but it, that might be too much. The room might not be big enough. It's an idea. It's an idea. Let me know if you like it. But other than that, the, the aquarium is done, and it is looking fantastic. The last thing I want to do is I want to get some mob heads, and the way I got to do that is I need some uh, some tridents. Yes. Um, I guess I could just repair these, try to, try to make one, uh, make one fully heal, oh, that works, alright, so we'll do that, and now all I gotta do is, uh, enchant it with channeling, and I already have a book for it. I might wanna do loyalty too, though, so let me just see if I have one, oh, loyalty three, the best type of loyalty, um, I don't know if there's anything else, I don't think channeling goes to two. I'm pretty sure this is as good as it gets, so we'll go ahead, throw on the channeling, and then throw on the loyalty. Now, I gotta go find a creeper. And I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. It's nighttime, though. It's nighttime, so we might be able to. But basically, the way you can get mob heads is by using charged creepers. And if you get them to explode uh, a different mob, they'll drop a head. They could also explode a creeper, too. It doesn't have to be a different mob. You, a different one aside from themselves. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, relax, relax, dude. Oh my goodness, there's so many of these. Oh, I don't even, oh, okay, 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 relax, relax. I don't have my bow out, excuse me, thank you. All right, where are they at? There's like five of them right here. They've all been waiting for me. Oh, wait, did you drop? Did you drop? Okay, I these guys are supposed to drop something. I don't know if it's added yet, but I think they eventually drop uh, stuff that you can use to fix elytras. Oh, I think, th oh, there they are. I was about to say, maybe, oh, wow, okay. Yep, okay, you, these are really hard to hit with a sword. It's way easier to just shoot them with a the bow. There are so many, oh, oh, oh. Okay, no, they do drop it. Hold on, hold on. Let me get up there. Let me investigate. The can you please die so I can go grab the stuff? Oh my goodness. This is oh wait, there's another one? You gotta be kidding me. I don't want to ruin the tree, but if I have to, <laughs> I'll fix it later. Let me just grab this. What is this called? It's, it, I, I don't know. It, I, I'm not sure. It could be like leather phantom membrane. So that's what you can use to heal elytras. Um... Too, too bad I don't have an elytra, <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. So I gotta go find a creeper. You should probably stay, because I don't think a creeper's gonna come up to me with you around. I have never seen a storm like this. This is crazy. Um, I, I, uh, I don't even know what to think right now. I, I can't, I can't really, th oh my goodness, what, what is this? Oh my gosh, this is the most lightning I've ever seen. Hey, more of that phantom membrane. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I lost that creeper. I ended up killing him with the trident. I don't know if there's another one around here, but I'll keep on looking. It doesn't sound like this storm is going away. So, um, I just, I just got to find another one, and then I got to hit him with the trident. He's got to become supercharged, and then I got him. All right, I found one. I found one. There's one right down here. Now, I this is out in the open, so I should, yes. Oh, my goodness, he's charged. He's charged. Oh, and there's two mobs over here. This is perfect. Hey, guys. Hello. Why don't you come over here for me? Thank you. Appreciate it. I really don't want those phantoms to come down and get me again. All right, he sees me now. He sees me. Okay, so... Are you gonna blow up? Please blow up the other guys. No, 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 no. Okay, how am I gonna how am I gonna do this? I wish I had a flint and steel. Okay, just do it, just do it. Yes. Yes! Okay, he got the zombie! He got the zombie, right? There's his Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! We got ourselves a zombie head! There we are, and uh 
And I guess we're done with that. I guess we're done with that. Let me see if I can find another creeper before the storm ends. And some more membrane. How about that? This lightning is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here's another one. Let me do it. Let me do it. Get him. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hello, creeper. Now I got to take you to some... Oh, wait. Can you get a phantom skull? No, there's no way. All right, another zombie skull. I don't know. Do I want... Yeah, I guess I do want a zombie skull. Hold on, creeper. Don't blow up just yet. Don't blow up just yet. Now you can blow up. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, wow. That was a big blast. <laughs> and another zombie head. I got to get out of this storm. The phantoms are going crazy. I don't have any food left. Um, I'm going to meet you guys back at the base, unless I find another creeper. If I find another creeper, I might, uh, I might go for the gold, get the triple play, but <laughs> probably not. So... I'll see you guys back down there. Where do I want to put these? I, I guess I, I guess I could put them in my room. I, I don't know where they would look good. Could I put one? Oh. Oh, I could put one right there. I don't like how it's floating, though. How about like that? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, I got to get a collection in here. I got to I gotta get a collection. I, I, I guess I'll put the two zombie ones in here for now. Oh, I can't. can't put it on that one. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll just save this. That looks nice. I need a whole collection. I need all of them. <laughs> I guess we'll work on that then. Maybe, 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 just maybe we can make a charged creeper farm soon. That would be interesting. Anyways, though, that's uh, that's it for today. Uh, that's all I really wanted to get done, and we did it pretty well. We did it pretty well. We got a new aquarium, new auto smelter, and, and... We got a creeper head. No, we got a zombie head using a creeper. <laughs> so we'll finish off the day with today's subscribers. Uh, they are Mr. Creepy Plays, Logan Hip, Daffa29, and Para Perry. A possum, excuse me. Um, so there they are. Thank you guys for your comments and suggestions. Um, Mr. Creepy Plays, in in particular, he's he's. I gotta I gotta give him a quick shout out. He's been an awesome subscriber. Uh, hasn't made it on the wall yet, but now he has. Um, but he was suggesting I put vine or not vines, I put string under the vines to stop them from growing, and I, I do need to do that. It, it just I, it's just gonna take a long time, um, but I will do that probably between this episode and the next episode. Um, but yeah, th that's it for today. Thanks guys so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See you. Bye bye. <laughs>